Hello guys and welcome, here's a quick tutorial on how to add training rooms to your World of Warships client. First you want to go, what you want to do first of all is go to asline.com uh, which as you can see right now here on the screen. Then what you want to do at that point, you want to go down to the World of Warships mod pack which is right there. You click on that, okay? What it's going to do at this point is take you to the second page for you. You're then going to scroll down a little bit, you're going to be able to see Aslan WoW's mod pack and then whatever the current version is, so that will state right there. What you want to do at that point, you see the way it says the download link hashtag one, you want to, don't click on that one because you're going to get the adverts pop up. Click on the direct port which is highlighted there for you, click on the highlighted port, okay? That's going to then start downloading. I've, obviously I've started downloading the mod packs already, so mine's good to go. What's going to happen at this point, you're going to get down a little bit of a drop box here, so I'm going to open and then it's going to pop up the, uh, the tab there for you. So obviously, even though you can't tell, I don't really speak great English, even though I am English, but here it is, we've set it to English and it's then going to start loading that up as well, which is the the Edlund's uh, downloading script. So here it is, it's loading up. Then what you want to do at this point is click on show preview window. That is very important because when you add any type of mod to it, you want to see what it looks like first before you actually add it to your client, okay? Which is your World of Warships client. Then what we're going to do at this point is click next. Obviously you can look at the bits of information there as well if you wish. Obviously I've done all that already. So you don't want to scroll down or anything, just information about versions and so on. Click on the next. It's going to obviously go down to my game. World of Warships file, where the client is, alright? Where the client is for the World of Warships. Click on Next. It's then going to bring up this section. This is all the mods that you can add to your game client. Obviously, Wargaming state that these are absolutely fine to be added. They are not illegal. They are absolutely perfectly fine for you to use these. This is a very simple way for people to add the training room to your World of Warships client, okay? So what we're going to do at this point, I know where it is already so I downloaded it last night anyway. Obviously, generally speaking, it's down towards the bottom. So what you can do is scroll down all the way down to the bottom. And you can see the section there which is called Tweaks, which I've highlighted for you. Obviously, I don't want to click all, them, all of them on. What we want on there is Training Room Enabler. And when you go, if you see the image right there next to your battle button, where you can go to the Co-op and Random Battles, you'll get a blue icon that is becoming Training Rooms, okay? That's what you want on. Me, personally, at this point, I will have Region Changer. So if you've got multiple accounts, you can add your region changer for you to go from one to another by using the same client, okay? That is kind of useful as well. Um, that's all I really need to show you at this point, because we don't want to get complicated with all these other type of mod packs on there. Um, obviously, such a, things like smoke timers are perfectly fine as well. I will show you what I do have. A, a, I've got, a, obviously, a torpedo warning sound, so I like the sound. But this is the smoke smoke indicator. I have mine at the bottom right, bottom left hand corner there, which is two green circles, green and white circles. One will tell you your first puff of smoke and the second one will tell you your last puff of smoke. Alright, so your first and second, first and last. And that's all you want to do really with that. Then you're going to click on next guys. Click on the next. Very important. It's going to say at this point, remove all previous mods from the game. Strongly advised as stated right there. Okay, that's what you want to do definitely. Um, just create an application shortcut on desktop if you wish. Just simply click on next. And it gives you the bit of information there what you're actually putting on it and the mod packs you're putting on. Your torpedo warning sound, training room enabler, region changer and compass alignment. I just like, I just element, I just like the look of the, one of the compasses in there, that's all. But you guys don't need to do that, okay? I click on install. And then, here we go. It's going through that and it really is that quick, guys. It's pretty much done. There it is. Now at this point, you can click on Finish if you want to, or click on Launch World of Warships, okay? Obviously, I'm not going to click on World Launch World of Warships because I'm not going to go into, into World of Warships right now. I've got work to do on the website for the Seven Seas Tournament and so on. But that is a quick tutorial, guys, on how you need to add, well, actually, how to add the training room enabler on to your gaming client okay you're going to need that for the tournament because that's where you're going to be able to enter into your battles all right guys so thanks for watching you've been great thank you